David Brooks, and this is my art assignment. Almost every single object has a quite specific significance to it. It's not just random stuff. Certainly my own work makes relationships between the natural world and, and um, either a cultural history or how we even now perceive and utilize the natural world. And so I'm also just kind of a, a, a fisherman and swamp kid. What I'm doing is I chose certain mammals <laughs> off the top 100 most endangered mammals on the planet. In the end, though, the weight of the marble or the bronze that makes up the sculpture will be precisely the weight of the average weight of the animal itself. So there's a truth content in there. This year, Storm King inaugurates a new program where they invite emerging artists to make site-specific pieces. The first artist in the program is David Brooks, whose project is entitled The Proverbial Machine in the Garden, a reference to Leo Marx's seminal text from the 1960s, Technology and the Pastoral Ideal in America. His project kind of takes an opposite look at sculpture at Storm King. When you come here, you normally expect to see things above ground, sighted in the landscape, interacting with nature. Brooks has submerged a backhoe the kind of tractor that was used to landscape Storm King in the 1960s, as well as to develop the New York Thruway that surrounds the property. It's a direct and indirect reference both to the farming history of Storm King and to the way in which human beings have altered the landscape and technology plays a role in changing our perception of the way in which we interact with the landscape. My father's a graphic designer, my stepmother is a painter, and my brother is a tattoo artist. So there's definitely something in the air. Being from Brazil, Indiana, <laughs> a very landlocked place, uh, certainly going to a place like South Florida and the Florida Keys was really mind-bending and opened up a whole new world. I can't uh, think that that didn't have something to do with how to imagine things beyond one's own space, in a sense.